Hi everybody, it's Sam Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. I just wanted to show you some product that I've received to do some samples. So I thought before I post them, I will just quickly show you what I've done and then this video will go up obviously now and that will be the day that this product is also released. So I thought it would work quite well. So this is the latest Apple Blossom release and it's all butterflies. So you know I absolutely adore butterflies. So it was really nice that I got to choose this product here to yeah, play around with and create some nice samples. So I'm gonna just show you each card that I've made and then I can show you the dies and everything will be linked below as always but I just thought yeah I'm going to show them on my channel before I post them so this is the first one so what these dies are is they are cut and lift dies so the die will just partially cut the image so that you can lift it all up and it's still connected to the cardstock you we've already had that in dies you know there's lots of different ways that it's kind of used but this one is this kind of I guess the way these dies work, work brilliantly with any kind of flying animal because the wings can be lifted and it just gives it such a nice look. So if I bring this one up here, you can see just how much dimension is on this card. Now this is a large card. I've done this on an eight by eight just to really show off this lovely heart. Obviously you don't have to do it this big, but all of these here you'll see lift up, but they are connected partially. So this is how they cut. You can see it perfectly there. Okay, and then you just lift it up and uh, yeah, you get to really appreciate the, the shape. But all these little bits here, these detail pieces are separate dies. So within each of the dies, you get these single butterflies. So they come with their shadow frame and the detail. So you can you know have them separately on another card. You can do, use them that way. But the idea is, is that you will see here on this image, they've showed you where you can put them back over the butterflies or leave them plain. So I've just used one, two, three, four, five, six of them and left the rest of them plain. But just to give you an idea just how big these are, they're lovely big dies. Look at that one. So you can see there where that sits over the top. So there is no outer cutting line, so it will all cut into your cardstock. But you can see there where they just cut into the centre, but they're not connected. So everything will stay. Even the tiny ones, there is a gap there. So they just, they don't quite join and that's enough to keep them connected to the cardstock. And you'll see the single ones there. I've just kept my washi tape on them because they are separate. So you've got the detail and the frame, but I will probably always cut them like that. So I've just left mine all attached and they're easy to kind of keep track of that way as well. But I will put all this onto my magnetic plates in due course. So that's the butterfly heart die and you get seven pieces in that one. Then I have this one here. This is a favourite of mine, I absolutely adore this one. So this is your circle, butterfly circle, it's an 11 piece die set. Exactly the same process, so we'll cut into the cardstock and then you lift it up and then you get these detailed, um, the shadow and the detail of the one, two, three, four, five butterflies there and they all go down in size. So I've done this on glittered cardstock so that the glitter is underneath. So this is a white piece that I actually die cut it into and then stuck it on that glitter so you can see that underneath. The I've just used these Nouveau drops here which have got a slight hint of a purple colour through them so again just gives a bit more texture and to give you an idea of this one there you go and I thought these would also look really nice on the front of gift bags so if you cut that onto your cardstock or your pattern paper whatever it is you're using and then back it with some acetate on the back I think it would give a really nice effect so it's certainly something I'm going to use in tutorials that's the next thing I'm going to play around with and maybe use it as a topper on a gift box as well you could have it as a shaker so you could have you know you would see through this and you'd see all the shaker elements so there's a few ideas there anyway but um, yeah and you also get all of those little butterflies there that's that one. Then this one is the butterfly wave. So that's, yeah, this one here. So I've done this as a rainbow effect. You can see there all that dimension. Now this one I've done differently. So I just thought, again, this is gonna be on Hachanda. So there will be lots of demos going on as well. So head over and have a look today. They keep their, um, each show, they keep it up for about, I think it's got a few, quite a while. So if you don't have time today, you can, know, you can always get them on catch up. But I thought this on the back here shows you exactly how that die works. So I thought it was quite a good way. Plus, I think that actually still looks really nice. So you don't always have to back it. So there's obviously room there to write your message. But I thought I'm actually going to leave that one there. And uh, just, yeah, really love doing this one I'd like a rainbow. So what I've done is I just put a thin piece of, so if you imagine that's a bit of paper there, I put it under each wing and then coloured it with a marker so that you didn't get any red on any of this. So it looked really crisp, but I was able to colour each one 
I think it worked really well and then with the detail I just cut it in white and just stuck them over the top of those ones so you get one two three four five so one two three four five so I've left all these ones I think you can yeah that one might also go on that one there but um, again I just think it's a really nice concept it does make very quick cards obviously this took a bit more time because I colored all of them in but you know if you just do them on well even like that was really quick you know just use your actual glittery paper as the the accent I guess but um, and then on here you'll see all those Nouveau drops I just grabbed all different colors just to kind of tie in with that rainbow theme I think it looks really really sweet so that's that one that's the butterfly wave and then there was some embossing folders so this one is the butterfly wave so they I'm not sure how this is all going to be I imagine they're going to do bundles so I would have thought they will do the butterfly wave die with that but you can obviously buy everything separate because they always do that but I would thought they probably put some in bundles so that would probably go well together so this one I've kept really simple and I've um, used my and I use the embossing folder on white core paper so or it's a cardstock so when you run it through it will crack slightly and it will reveal the white core and then you get like a nail file or you can get the proper buffing um, sanding blocks that you can buy. I think, I th have I got one? I think it's my mum's got one actually. Anyway, I'll try and find some, I'll link them below. But you just rub it over slightly and because this is raised, it will catch on all the raised areas and it will just show up this white. And I just think it works, it does. It's a, it's a really nice technique to use with embossing folders. And then I've just gone over them all with my sparkle pen and I just think it looks really pretty. I've used some of the butterflies on their own there, just from one of the die sets, just to tie it all together. And yeah, just think it looks really nice. And again, I've used a Nouveau drop. It's just a clear sparkle running through that one there. And uh, yeah, so that's five by seven. And there's lots and lots of things you can do with embossing folders. There's so many fun techniques. I think I've got that one. No, why is that one? Oh yeah, there you go. It's not upside down, obviously, but um, yeah, it's a really nice one. So that's the uh, butterfly wave embossing folder. And then we have another die, this one here. So this is the Butterfly Swoop. This one I really like. I love the colour as well. I don't do a lot of things in like a light blue, but I thought, yeah, I'm going to play around with this. Look at that. I think the that you really pick up the shadow on this one. But um, so it just says hugs, kept it nice and simple. And I've used white Nouveau drops. And then what I've done around the edge is I used my white Posca paint pen to create a white frame. And then I went over it with a glitter. And then I've backed this. So here you'll see I've backed the back back to the back and it's a blue glitter card you can see just about there we go that lovely blue glitter and then I've used that to die cut these on top so it's just a lot of tone on tone with these and you don't have to use a lot of different card stock you know even when that die cut just on the blue on its own it looked really nice so you don't you know you don't even have to add the glitter it just I think they're lovely really they just they, they do look really really pretty I just yeah Hopefully that's coming across in the video because sometimes you don't always get to appreciate it as much unless you see them in real life. And then finally you've got one more embossing folder. So this is the 6x6 and this is the butterfly background. So this would work with all of them. But again, because it's a sample, it's just showing that embossing folder on its own. So I've used that same technique as I did on the red. So this is a green white core cardstock and I've gone quite shabby chic with this one. So I've distressed all the butterflies but I've also distressed the, the edge here of the paper you see the corners and everything there so this I think would work really nicely as a wedding card an engagement card an anniversary card or just to tell someone you love them but I think it's quite sweet and I've just finished it with that bow in the middle there and um, yeah and that's that one there butterfly background so yeah let me know what you think I've really enjoyed these I was a bit unsure at first so you know we get to choose everything but you don't you see it you know small images of via an email or a picture on them you know sometimes they're laid out on someone's desk they're like right we've had this in who would like to do some samples so I saw these and I thought yeah they look quite nice they're butterflies which I like but then when I actually got them and saw the size of them then I thought yeah I'm really really glad I chose these so you will see these feature next I think on some gift bags so it might not be this side of the year because I'm now going to be obviously or probably already now started my Christmas workshop so um, but this will just be kind of popped in amongst all of that 
Um, but yeah, I really like them. So let me know what you think. I'd be in, you know, I'm always interested to see what you guys think. If you like them, which one's your favourite? Do you like butterflies? I can see this working really well if they were to do some more with dragonflies and like I said, other birds and things like that. I think it'd look really nice. And flowers look great because you can lift all the petals as well. So that's another nice option. But yeah, there you have it. So thank you for watching. Check out her Chanda um, to see the other demos. I'm sure there's going to be some great ones. I know I'll be watching just to get some more inspiration. And uh, yeah, I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. See you then. Bye.